Hi, my name is Edie Disler. Hi, I'm Debbie Van Cannon. This is Zoe and Zach. Uh, I'm Charles Fuller. I'm Melanie Flores. Could you describe the different public standards for gay versus straight public displays of affection? Oh yeah, uh, we, have, we have to watch their intense public displays of, infe of, infection, of affection all the time. And yet if we do it, um, particularly to guys I think are even more vulnerable than to women, um, there's hell to pay. So we just don't. We just are yeah. used to not doing it. I think straights don't even think about it. It's such a right for them. They get to do it. And I think if we do it, it, it is truly dangerous. Why is being able to publicly express your affection as a gay person important to you? Acknowledgement that we exist is the big thing, and that we and that we're uh, we're partners because you get treated as a as an individual person when really you're in a relationship. I'm Christine Morfitt. I'm Nick Bain. <laughs> David and Lori. People should be able to feel comfortable walking down the street holding their partner's hand or, you know, kissing someone in public if, you know, they're both comfortable with that. Why is it important for, the per for a gay person to be able to express themselves publicly? I think it applies just as well for a straight person. I mean, anybody should be able to express themselves publicly. It's just, I think it's just a basic right. I think it's method. important to show that it's e uh, that everybody's equal. If you believe that there are different standards for gay versus straight public displays of affection? Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. It's um, it's still, I don't think gay, it's becoming more socially acceptable, but it's not quite to that point yet. So there's still those homophobic idiots <coughs> who, uh, <laughs> who are like, you gay people kissing. And I mean, it's still kind of unnerving to even a lot of straight people who support us. It's still a little unnerving to see gay people kiss. I am Lauren Ford Miller. I'm Pamela Teal. Why is being able to express yourself as a gay person publicly important? I think it speaks to self-esteem and pride, and there is nothing we should ever be ashamed of, ever. If we love each other, we should be allowed to show that, and we should not be ashamed that we love each other. That's why I think it's important. When you've been out and about around town and expressed affection publicly, have you ever experienced a negative reaction? Well, our expressions of affection are like holding hands or taking each other's arm, going arm in arm, and yeah, people give us snide looks. I'm actually disabled and there are times when I need to hold on to Pam and it's always in my mind how people are looking at us and how they're thinking about it. What sort of react, public reaction have you observed today from people walking by? Uh, mainly curiosity, which I'd say that's probably a good thing because they wonder what we're out here doing and obviously we want to create visibility around us. Um, I, don't, I haven't seen any negative reactions yet. Um, I don't want to. If there's been a negative reaction, I've been kissing Lauren and I haven't seen it. <laughs> Seen a, I've seen a lot of support too. Just a lot of people have walked by and seen people kissing, and they're like, "Wow, that's kind of cute." Um, so I, I think that's more what we should expect here, and what we should shoot to, uh, well, shoot to see, achieve, if you will.